Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Scorched Earth server. Um, so we've had some things happen here. Uh, I'll talk about that for just a minute. Um, uh, when I left off, we were kind of in the process of, uh, you know, kind of moving the base down to the bottom of that valley where some of these... Uh, uh, pools of water are. Um, we made that journey uh, as well as picked up a few comrades in arms. Uh, we had a few people join the server and so today um, we all kind of uh, spent a bunch of time together and uh, ground out. Um, getting up just this starter base here. Uh, nothing pretty. Uh, we tamed a few dinos, got a few things going on. Um, so here you can see we've got a couple of people laying on the floor and actually one guy, I'm not sure where he is. But um, anyway, so we got some stuff done here. We got our bed, which is definitely critical, um, especially since we were dying so much in the last several episodes. Um, of course, we've got the refining forge here, uh, smithy, several mortars and pestles, mortar and pestles, I guess. Uh, Preserving bin. I'm thinking about adding another preserving bin here and then a couple of just basic storage boxes. So um, You know the big point of this of this little uh, <laughs> Abode I guess you could say was just to get us out of the shelter and and get a few basic necessities going up um, actually uh, when everyone else uh, finally logged off uh, this was only about half done, and it was actually done in thatch. So the last, oh, shoot, several hours, it feels like um, I've been grinding out um, clay uh, to make that adobe so that it can withstand the standstorms and whatnot. Um, did find out that it is indeed a grind um, to use the adobe structures. They are not... Uh, they're just very expensive, so if we kind of look in here, um, we can see here that the uh, foundations is 80 clay, 40 wood, 20 thatch, 15 fiber, um, the walls are about half as cheap, and then the ceilings, um, you know, are in between the walls and the, uh, the foundations. So, certainly not cheap buildings, uh, pretty cool looking I mean the texture on these things is way better than like just the wood textures and stuff um, you know the thatch looked the same as it always has uh, I have not actually made any wooden structures uh, on this map yet and I'm not sure uh, that I want to waste the engram points on researching it since uh, you know we got these new adobe buildings we might as well uh, use the adobe but you can see kind of here I'm that the uh, the textures are are pretty good. Um, you can probably see it better if I grab a bit of thatch out of here and start this. Hey, hey! Start this torch on fire. Yeah, there we go. So, anyways, um. I haven't been up to too much other than that, just a lot of grinding, that's why I haven't brought you guys in. Uh, I did tame a few dinos, um, ah, here we go. So we've got Genghis here, uh, which is my level 165 raptor, um, when I tamed him out he was 112, I didn't have any prime meat or anything so he wasn't uh, a perfect tame, but uh, still definitely a worthy mount. And then we've got Tank here. Um, actually, that should be probably Tank 2.0. Um, but anyways, again, uh, reasonably high level. I think he was like 76 or something like that when I tamed him out. And uh, that's stupid. So we have the whips. Um, they're pretty cool. They don't really seem to do much damage, but they kind of... Uh, force critters to run off so um, anyways so we've got these two guys these are basically our two tames for right now um, I'm definitely eventually going to be moving away from this uh, community base area 
But for right now, it's just so dangerous out here um, that we really can't um, venture too far out. Um, so one thing I did want to do is I spent a bunch of time while I was doing all this Adobe stuff, and I made a bunch of Adobe fence foundations. Um, so the plan was when we were all talking to, oh, I do not have the weight for all of those. Let me dump some of this garbage in there. So the plan was um, to get some kind of a wall, at least around the area, kind of a pen where we can store the dinos and other stuff safely. Um, I think if we look at the engrams, I can actually learn the, uh, the Adobe dino gate. Um, I'm a little hesitant because it seems if it's just as expensive as everything else has been. Um, but we'll learn the engrams and uh, then we'll see what materials and stuff are required for that. So actually not too bad. Um, 280 wood, 80 clay. So this one actually requires more wood than clay. Uh, same with the door. So we can actually probably make this happen. Um, but first, uh, as always, uh, I've got these foundations. I've got 60 of them so far, and I think that that should do fairly well. Um, I'm thinking I'll start somewhere like... It's hard to say Like if I should start on top of this hill. I really hate doing foundations downhill, actually. We've got this thing in front of us. We'll pound out a bit of sand. We always, always, always need sand. That seems like the hard thing to get. Um, when we're on the Morella Tops uh, tank over there and we're wandering around, I always make sure to hit cactuses up to get that cactus sap, but the sand is what seems uh, to cause the grind a lot. So, um, anyways, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll probably start that foundation somewhere right in here. Um kind of come out here several tiles maybe to like right here and maybe a little farther and then across um, I don't know we'll just have to kind of play it by ear I, I do like to utilize the natural terrain as much as possible so I realize that dinos that are up top here could potentially fall down and wander in. Um, hopefully anything that does that isn't a high enough level that it can totally just um, kill all of the dinos that we have in here. Um, the other benefit of having this fence is just fencing the dinos in so they don't run off. So, um, Anyways, uh, that's, that's kind of the plan. I'm going to get started on that, laying some of these foundations. Um, you know, I would like to do adobe walls, but again, that is such a huge 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 grind um, we'll just have to see what I have time for but I, I, I want to get the foundations in at least today and then I'm thinking that maybe if I remember correctly let me get up here so I can get a little better view I thought that somewhere over here there was a thorny dragon and I thought that we might try to tame it. I got some Trank arrows and a, oh, I think I can, I think we can kind of see it jumping off over there in the distance. Uh, I don't know what level he is or anything, and it could be a horrible idea, but um, you know, we got the bed to respond to right here, so no biggie. Um, anyways, I'm gonna lay some of these foundations, and I'll uh, bring you in if anything exciting happens. Hey guys, so I thought I'd just uh, bring you in here. So we got this sandstorm going, and uh, I thought we'd try out the uh, the new base, see if it protects us. I know in the past that these have been a pain, you know, they leech our stamina and basically make it so you can't do anything. Um, we'll grab a quick drink of water from Misty here. And then we will head indoors. So I know that some people get pretty frustrated with the storms and... Um, you know, you kind of just got to stop doing anything at all uh, when these sandstorms and other storms hit. Um, but, uh, you know, I feel like it does bring a unique um, feel to the game. So I kind of enjoy it. I enjoy the immersion. 
Um, some people aren't into that. I guess that's okay too. But um, anyway, so I'm going to ride out this storm and uh, then I'll kind of show you what I've uh, done so far. Alright, we'll be our bees. Alright guys, we're back. The storm is finally over. So I thought I'd just uh, show you the progress that I've made so far. Um, so I kind of decided to make this more of like a courtyardish type of a thing. Um, let me get up here on top of this rock and maybe we can kind of see the layout a little bit better. Um, so I kind of have an idea of maybe expanding this thing in layers, sort of, so you can kind of see that, um, I used the back of the building as a snap point for the adobe wall foundations, and then I brought it out equally on both sides, um, you know, I don't know, I think it's going to look pretty neat when it's all done. Uh, I'm thinking I want to take the walls, obviously, at least two high, um, but maybe even three. And then um, we should have enough room on the front, uh, eventually, for a behemoth gate. Um, but, you know, I don't know, like I said, I kind of have, I'm kind of thinking that uh, as time goes on, maybe we can even expand this a bit. Um... You know, and I don't know if that means we would just put another layer out from here. It would be kind of cool if we encircled the whole thing in another layer and maybe made that center building bigger. But, um, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to do all that work by myself. I'll have to talk with the uh, the other guys on the server and see they, how fancy they want to get on the uh, community base. But, I don't know, I just enjoy building. I like having things look nice. Um, I'm not a master builder, um, but, uh, you know... Um, having a everything having a place for everything and everything in its place is is important um organization is key to any successful operation especially in arc so um anyways i got a bit a few more things going here that storm kind of hit but i got a bunch of cactus sap um we can dump this sand in here we'll craft up a bit more of that and then i think i have some a few hundred more clay in here so um, I'm gonna build walls I'm gonna build enough to at least go all the way around once um, with at least one layer and uh, then I think that we will I don't know I kind of uh, <laughs> I've already played like I don't know like eight hours today and and I love the game don't get me wrong but um I'm kind of thinking, you know, I think maybe we'll just go for the tame. There's a new mechanic I kind of want to show you guys. And I don't know when they introduced this. Maybe it was a while ago. Maybe you guys already know. Um, but uh, I was not aware of it. So let me just make sure. Oh, we're kind of heavy. All right, we've got some stone. I'll just drop it. We always, uh, tons of stone. I'm always collecting tons of stone. Uh, I could probably get rid of those yeah, we'll go put them inside. Sometimes I store stuff on dinos and then I don't remember who has what. And it's a big, 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 horrible mess. Um, so, probably don't need the spears anymore. Alright. So I thought this was pretty cool. So we got my raptor here. Uh, pretty decent level. Pretty quick. I mean, I don't know. He's not anything super, super great. But um, he's faster than, you know, a lot of stuff out here. So... And I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited to uh, to show this to you um, because I think it's really exciting and neat. But I don't know if you guys know. It might be kind of a secret. But we can now use our weapons on our dinos. So it's a little bit harder to drive and get going. But what I'm thinking is this is going to make it super, super kitey. Um, you can get on a raptor or something like this. And so what I'm thinking is we're going to sneak up on this this horny devil here and we are gonna just whoop him and then I'm just gonna kinda use the raptor to kite him and to uh... alright see so the raptor <laughs> I'm still getting used to uh... alright here we go I'm still getting used to to driving the raptor and myself at the same time it actually takes quite a bit of, of uh skill here but I think okay so we can 
um, kind of get around here. But, oh, okay, so he's running. I don't even know what level this guy is. I kind of just want to get him just to see what these things are all about. Um, Alright, it looks like he's down. So, level 48, you know, I don't know. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, I'm thinking that these guys probably take meat. Um, but seriously, guys, how cool is that? We can now um, shoot off of our dinos. So it opens up really big possibilities for, um, you know, Rex tames and other kinds of things where it used to be, oh, just lead them up against the cliff and all that other boring stuff. Um, no, you know, now you can kind of, like I said, use a dino um and kind of kite around these things so anyways that was a good little test i'm definitely going to need some more practice on that let's see if that okay so i think he is taming um at level 48 let's see decent stats we'll see what they are when he finishes uh when he finishes taming out so i'm going to kind of leave him here for now i'm not sure what these guys are good at but at the very least i want to play around with that tail thing I would kind of like... I wish I had a spyglass. I definitely need to find some crystal. Um, in fact, maybe that's what we will do right now. Um, I wouldn't mind taming up an alpha wolf. I mean a uh, dire wolf. Uh, they're pretty slick. And then the cool thing about them, as you guys I'm sure remember, are that they don't need saddles. So... Last time I did this, the Dodicarus won, and I ended up wasting a bunch of Trank arrows. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, that I think that guy's actually a pretty high level. Let's just see what level he is. Oh, he's only a level 20. All right, we're going to go for it. We are going to let our Raptor tank him. Um, again, like I said, this is way harder than it looks. Did you go down? Nope. Alright, so the raptor's tanking some of our damage here. Oops, got a miss in there. Okay, I think I got a hit that time. Oops. Oh crap, he's kind of like stuck on us. Oh, okay, I think he's running. Alright, so this is the other cool part about this. Alright, let's chase him down. You know, often time with the new running mechanic... All right, cool. So now we've got this dire wolf here as well. Um, again, just a little level 20, but, you know, this is mostly about the practice. So let me see here. I don't really see anything I can kill for some meat. Um, I'm going to run around. I'm going to see if I can find a couple more meat. Um, oh, I'm going to have to kill this guy. He's... Whooping up my tame here. My tame is going to be horrible on that dire wolf, but um, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens here. Alright, so we can get some meat from this guy. Oh, that's a level 40 dire wolf. Maybe we should try to tame this guy up. Oops, alright, that was a, a swing and a miss. Okay, I think that was a hit. Okay, that was a good hit too. Kind of getting a little bit better at this. I'm not really getting any headshots, but again, um, this is <laughs> a little harder than it looks. Uh, yeah, I think that was a miss. Almost like jousting a bit. You kind of got to get up, turn around, and then take your shot. Oops. All right, again, I don't know what the deal with. Hopefully, we can tank the damage. These alphas usually, or these dire wolves. I keep saying alpha wolf. These dire wolves put out quite a bit of damage. Okay, so we're doing. Okay, so it looks like he's running. She's running. Um, definitely important to have a lot of HPs on these uh, on the dino that you're going to use for the tanking. Um, all right, cool. So back over to here. Looks like we'll get a couple of dire wolves. 
Um, where did that... Oh, did we eat the meat? Okay, so there's a bit of meat in here. Alright, so we'll get that guy taming up. Looks like he'll tame up in just a second, and then that... Okay, I don't have the HPs for this. We're just gonna kill this guy. Okay, he's only a level 16. I think we can take him. Alright, sweet. Alright, we're gonna... Pump a little bit of HPs, and I'm definitely gonna bump the HP up on my Raptor here. And then... I will put some meat in this... Girl. Okay, we'll let her do her thing. And then let's go check on our thorny dragon here. So kind of exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty excited about being able to ride a dino and shoot at the same time. I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's been on the uh, the picture or the cover for the game for a long time, and uh, it's finally a reality. So bump up the HPs a bit more. And then I kind of, let's see what level this guy is, 44, those guys are usually pretty tough. Um, well, you know, I haven't really been down this direction much, so we've got like this hill right here, and I am on the lookout for crystals, so uh, I haven't really seen any, but crystal is usually at the top of mountains and stuff anyways, so let's just see if uh, this arc follows suit while those guys are taming up. If I can get up there. Come on, baby. All right, perfect. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what's up here. Okay, so that is okay. That's a Marilla top. So the profile of that thing was a bit scary at first. Uh, the serene. Okay, so we've got that guy right there. Just go around them for now. I don't really feel like taking on a super high level dude right now. I just. We're not at full HPs and it could just be bad news. So. Always on the lookout for some crystal. Okay, so we've got a terror bird down there again. That's kind of an interesting looking plant. Not seeing anything. We'll eat this guy. Get a bit more meat. Oops. Oh. Pump some stamina here, and then what in the heck? Okay. Oh, I see. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, another dire wolf. All right, we're kind of tanking it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make it. We'll be all right. Ugh, lots of stuff. What's I wonder what's in here? Oh, nice. All right, so we can always use some trank arrows and stuff. Nice little bit of loot there. We'll harvest these guys for their meat. And Chitten. Now let's see here. We'll remote use some of that. And pump up our HPs on this a bit. So it actually looks like this is kind of a fairly dangerous area here. So we've got that uh, thorny dragon there. Let's see if we can kind of just skirt around this a bit. And yeah, I'm still... Is that Audodic? I'm still on the lookout for some crystal. Um, you know, maybe there isn't any up here, which is very likely. Um, I may have to go to uh, maybe one of those bigger hills over there. It'll be so much nicer when we can get a flyer. But, um, you know, we're not quite there yet. We'll have to catch one of those Lysanthrias or some, whatever they are, those moth creatures. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's like nothing but plant species Y seeds. Um, again, I don't know what a plant species Y 
is versus plant species X, but it's got to be exciting. I like how they have taken the time to put ruins here. Now, this ruin is a little bit, um, you know, I don't know, weird. It's kind of just up here in the middle of nowhere, but cool, you know, some kind of monastery or something. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, I can make it down here without too much trouble. Hmm. Okay, cool beans. Just slide on down. Slide on down. There we go. Alright, took a little bit of damage there, but I think we'll survive. Okay. Um, let's check on our wolfies. Okay, almost tamed up. Not too bad. And then this other one over here. Uh, we got meat. Okay, there's some meat in there. We got a bunch. Oh, no, I used it all. Okay. Uh, oh, is this, is this a hill right here, too? Oh, it's kind of like a big hill thing up there. Yeah, I don't know. I think I want to wait till we can get a flyer or... I don't know, even these wolves aren't bad if we can level them up, but uh, maybe get something a little bit more hefty than a raptor before we start roaming too far. Either that or pump the speed on this bad guy like mad. Um, Alright, let's check this guy out see where he's at. Oh, wow, the tapor on this guy is dropping like a rock. Okay. No problem, we'll just run back to base here, grab some narcotics. Um, so I'm going to take care of all that stuff. We'll get these guys tamed up, and then I'll bring you back in. Alright guys, uh, so we made a little progress. Um, we got him tamed up, kind of pulled him over here really quick. Um, made a little bit of progress on the walls here, you can see we got you know a good portion of the way around uh, at least on the first level but um, so let's take a look at this guy's statistics um, first I'm not sure how these guys are supposed to be but uh, so 800 health uh, stamina 770 weight is only 350 melee damage is only 166 and movement speed is 130 so I'm not really sure how things are supposed to be in relation to that uh, craft metal items here. That's interesting. I wonder. Um, so I just, I happened to level up, uh, right when we were doing this, and I researched the, uh, Thorny Dragon Saddle. It had to be crafted at a smithy, so let's go see where we're at on that. Hopefully we're pretty close. I've been shoving just all my extra resources in here, so. Alright, perfect. So it looks like we can craft that. Uh, we'll go ahead and plop one of those out. Come on, baby. A decent amount of XP off that, too. Um, equip a thorny dragon with this to ride it. Alright, let's take a ride on this sucker. Okay, so that's that's a pretty cool um, dealio. So it looks like this um, acts kind of like a mobile smithy, just like the uh, just like the beavers did. So um, I wonder if stuff weighs less on them. One and a half pounds. Ah, so stone. Okay, so it looks like he gets the same, the same buff to weight as well. So that was 28. Awesome. Um, so this might be our new gatherer actually. And if that's the case, we're definitely going to pump up his. Um... Let's see how fast he is. Yeah, we can maybe pump his speed a little bit. Well, we definitely want to pump up his weight. And um... wait, let's look at his. Okay, so that's his. So. Right click is his little tail whip. 
and then left click is his just bite attack. Oh, looks like I better get back to base, get some water. Um, maybe sit in the hut a little bit. But so really, I mean, not too bad as far as speed. I mean, not super fast, but it doesn't look like his stamina is draining at a ridiculous rate. I mean, you can definitely tr travel on him. Um, especially if we can pump up some levels on this guy. So, anyways, let me take care of my water situation. And... Maybe someone has a torch made already. Torch. No torch. No torch. No, that's going to be helpful later. No torch. Standing torches, not quite what I'm looking for. Um, okay, well, whatever. Dump this in here. And we'll push that in there. Craft up a couple more of those dealios. So, um, anyways, I also did get those two, um, wolves tamed up. I don't know if you can see them up there. Well get a little closer they are proudly overlooking the compound here um, I just kind of parked them up there to get them out of the way um, I will probably start lining up some of these other dinos I gotta build a saddle for this guy actually let's see what that takes a Morella top saddle hide fiber and wood I think we have all those things yeah, we got some hide, some fiber, some wood. Uh, short on hide. Is there? Oops. Is there any more hide? Uh, Raptor may have hide on it. Nope. Let's go check these guys. Surely something has some hide on it. Um, so I got a uh, black wolf and a white wolf, so I, <laughs> I decided to name them Yin and Yang. Um, no hide, hide, hide. Oh, there's some hide. And we'll check you for good measure. Nothing. Oh, level. And we will pump your HPs. And again, pump that up to 1500 or so. Alright, so now that we have that stuff, I think we can make the saddle. Perfect. And then we'll get these guys saddled up. He's got a saddle. I don't... I have not learned the Ankleo saddle, but I may... Uh, I think I'm going to let someone else research that. I'm sure someone else will grab it and get some saddles going for these guys. Um, so... Let's pop that in there. This guy actually, I was really surprised when it tamed out, even though it was only a level 65 versus our level 113 here. Um, you notice the health. So this this guy over here is actually a boss. Um, almost 2,000 health. And when we pump that up, there we go, 2,000 health. Um, I haven't gained a whole lot of levels on uh, on this one yet. Uh, this was kind of the uh, tribe Marilla tops. I just I tamed it the same time I tamed that other one, and so I figured I'd just let it be. But it actually got pretty decent stats, so um, you know people should be able to do some work with it. So I'm thinking I will park. First of all, let's if I can fit through here. We'll bring her over here. She can tank up. All right, she is fully tanked. And then I'm thinking we'll park her right along here-ish. So um, this definitely this first iteration of the wall is going to be a little bit crunchy with all these uh, dinos, but. Um, 
you know, there's not much we can do about that. Uh, I just, it's such, such a huge, huge grind to gather all these materials by hand. So, you know, hopefully as we, um, tame up a few more dinos, uh, and get some other stuff going, we'll be able to, uh, maybe expand this compounder. I mean, you know, honestly, we'll probably just, uh, find a home for our own. There's a few little places down there that are interesting. There's actually, um, some places on the other side of this, uh, hill here, uh, that could be interesting. And then kind of up the canyon, I have not explored that much. So, um, anyways, so that's kind of where we're at, guys. Um, Again, I, I realize this episode isn't going to be too terribly long. Um, actually, it'll probably end up being about the right length. So, um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, I'll definitely uh, we'll have to finish up the rest of this next time. I've been playing ARC going on probably 12 hours now. So, it's uh, time to get some rest. And, um, yeah, when I come back in the next episode, we'll uh, tame up some more dinos, finish up this little starter compound, maybe get some other luxuries going here, and uh, carry on the survival, the uh, surviving of the Ark. So uh, I appreciate all your guys' support. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and um, I guess until next time, uh, have a good one.